Hey, thanks for hanging out and hanging around and staying with us. I'm Christine, your host. I'm here with Tommy, the Tommy Lama. Yeah, we've covered a lot of ground. He's here to save Las, cleanse Las Vegas. I don't want to use the word save. We don't need saving. We need cleansing. And we touched a little bit about that, all the addictions we have from gambling and drinking and um, what do you call them? The flap card flappers? Uh, porn slappers. Porn slappers and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to give a quick shout out uh, because I want to focus more on you, but I do have to give some shout outs uh, from some events Putting that I attended. Off of this. Oh, clear that, huh? Uh, last night was fabulous. I went to Baz Starcross Love at the Palazzo Theater. It was a fantastic, really something to see. Uh, it's uh, com uh, by Australian writer and director um, Baz Luhrmann. There's a 360 degree view of the stage. This is interesting. Number one, it's like a, a musical drama. And what's kind of mind blowing is you're listening at elaborate set stage, the singing, the talent, and everything. But as you're listening, you realize that you're listening to some excerpts from, say, Romeo and Juliet. And then that's followed by maybe a piece from Madonna. <laughs> and then you segue, and everything's going on. You're reading the characters. You segue into, say, something from La Boheme. And then the next thing you know, you're singing uh, uh, When Doves Fly. Because, see, what it, it just kind of, it's amazing what he's done. Another really cool feature is actually guests are seated on the stage. I mean, physically right up there on the stage and watch just like they were. Uh, it's another, it's a lot of great Gatsby influence in that F. Scott Fitzgerald. So you do, I'm sure they pray, pay a premium to sit on the stage. And then at the, around the stage, normally where you'd see an orchestra pit, they have other special guests. So it's really kind of, I don't want to say it's like interactive, but you really feel, you get the presence. It must have been so cool back in those days, like around the great Gatsby era, mm. you know, with the flappers and the champagne and everything. So yeah, that's a great show and it's worth uh, seeing. It's not that, doesn't run that long. It's, it's just fun. Um, boy, I was all worked up after that. Uh, uh, coming up at, um, we have Puppet Up coming up and it's Puppet Up Uncensored and that's going to debut inside the sand showroom at the Venetian. All I really know about this is picture if you will and I know how vivid your imagination is. A revolving cast of six world-class puppeteers. Uh, all hand-selected puppets by Brian Henson. Remember the Muppet uh, the Sun and they're going to bring to life over 60 unruly puppets. Um, with outrageous scripted scenes and improv. Doesn't that just kind of open your chakra there? Cause I unruly, like what I'm hearing. <laughs> unruly could be anything, especially with a hand puppet. Don't touch that one. Let me just finish this real quick. <laughs> the Fremont Street Experience Rock of Ages concert series. This is really cool. It's going to have Robbie Krieger from the doors mm. yeah he's going to be there saturday july 23rd at 9 p.m and if uh, for those of you my age not much younger i don't know how anybody could not remember love her madly la woman light my fire robbie krieger wrote all those for the doors so he's going to be pretty something fun uh for the more calm and i don't know if i want to say older or whatever uh, the Ronnie Foster Trio will appear at the Cabaret Jazz at the Smith Center on Sunday, July 24th at 2 and 6 p.m. And they're actually, while they're performing, they're filming for an upcoming album, The Reboot Project Live at the Smith Center. And then, for my Hispanic friends, a little bit of a Reba going on down at Prim. And that's uh, uh, Zequiel uh, Pena. And he's actually a very famous uh, uh, mariachi band guy. He's been 30 years at it, so that's happening down in... Have you been to Prim? I know you're not like... Of course. Okay, so you're that... That's what I there. enter. <laughs> and it's only 25 miles away. That's what I enter. <laughs> Is that like the big... It's the warning. <laughs> it's the... It's the warning. <laughs> on the way, on the way, on the way. A couple of charity projects. There's a lot of free events going on. I'm going to direct you all now, and I have to give myself a little shout out here. My little aura is glowing because my VegasOnlyEntertainment.com website is up and Adam, I had it redesigned, socially media optimized. It's unbelievable. I'm in love with it. And you can view, you will be viewing Tommy once I get these video, the segments uploaded. So you're going to be up on the website too as well. All of these listings are there under Vegas VIPs and there are times, dates, tickets and all that. Now, back to my special featured guest, since I got that off my chest. <laughs> we were talking on break about the funny, funny thing at the show Monday night with the dog. 
dog karma. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> it's it gotta was, have it. Um, I reunited an owner with a dead dog, her dead dog. Ah, uh, it was touching. It was a very, it was a tearjerker. It was. Um, I had to save the show after that because everyone, I mean, comedically, because it was so touching, so moving. Yeah. Uh, reuniting them, those two lost, you know, and they had a language that those two only understood. That's right. Woof. <laughs> and what happened was I asked her what was your dog's name and she said lucky and I said not so much <laughs> well, that's right <laughs> not so much and it was great <laughs> it was uh, and I uh, the, uh, the dog spirit I heard him spirits, I just, uh, you know yeah. spirits come through me I'm like a condiment yeah. you know so <laughs> I was able to channel the dog, and they had, you know, it was a beautiful, very moving. Yes, yes. Unlike the other two uh, uh, people I brought up on this stage, it was... A little awkward there, yeah. but you handled it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, some people are special cases, and <laughs> some are more easy. Yeah, some are some, harder work. Some need one-on-one, -on -one, you know, yeah. situations. So one-on-one, -on -one, that's an interesting... Mm-hmm. Now, what are your plans for, uh, the, I mean, not just the cleansing here in Vegas. Do you have any long-range plans? I mean, there's certainly other pockets in the universe that need a little... Well, you know, I foresee a uh, a, a traveling down the line, uh -huh. like um, like a defending the caveman type of thing. Right. Yes. All over the place. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, you know. Um, they do it in all kinds of countries. Yeah, but the, internationally. Right, um, but wouldn't you have to clone yourself, or you would just take the show on the road? No, you you hand it other to other llamas. Uh, well, you'd have to train them, wouldn't you? Yeah, you have to train the llama. Well, how do you think? <laughs> how do you think Rob Becker did it? <laughs> no, I can't he he trained. There's a lot of cavemen, uh -huh. right? Not right. just one. I know. I had Kevin Burke on right, my Kevin, show. Right, Kevin and Kevin Burke came to my red carpet. It was so yes. nice. Yes. And he wished me so Murray well. Marty Sawchuck was there, Rich Little. Yeah, I mean, it was who a great Marty there? Allen came. Marty Allen was there. And by the way, what a pleasure having dinner with Marty Allen and Rich Little and them talking about the old days. It's, you can't buy this kind of stuff. We had dinner. We went upstairs. I didn't know. Yeah, we, no, it was impromptu. Uh huh. And just listening. And R Rich Little cracked a joke, and I'm laughing. Uh -huh. And Marty goes, Do you really have to laugh at that? <laughs> <laughs> They're a pair, aren't they? Yeah, it was great. Boy, there's nothing like uh, that that whole era. With mm -hmm. the, and that was back when the first Saturday Night Lives, when that was fresh and original. And that must have been a thrill the for thrill. you. The thrill. That was... The, Did yeah. you ever have any idea, not that you're anything to do with your cosmic sensories or whatever, when you were little that one day you would actually be having dinner with these two never, fantastic... Never, 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 never. Not even never. in boot camp? No, uh, because I was blocked back then yeah. so I had no visions then, then what caused the big unblockage um, was there a moment laxatives <laughs> <That's right. laughs> lots of laxatives mental laxatives or you know but it, I'd like to take this time right now of course and tell people where they can come and <laughs> see my show the laugh factory at the laugh the factory Canada. at the Tropicana two shows a night no no, it's one show a night, but the different times. Oh, I, I'm there Thursdays through Monday. Uh huh. A Thursday, it's five o'clock. Okay, that's a good hour. Five p.m. So it's like a pre-dinner. It's great. Your mm -hmm. whole night's ahead of you. Right. Right. Friday, it's at seven p.m. Okay. Saturday and Sunday, five p.m. Great time to get out and start your day early, and then Monday at seven p.m. And all of this information can be found at your website, which has been scrolling. Yes. But you... TropLV.com. TropLV.com. Yeah. And you can pick out a place to dine before the show. And your website... Is... www.tommylama.com. That's pretty easy. One L, though. I just... Don't you hate when people confuse you with a dromedary? Is Listen. a llama a dromedary? Yes. It, no. That's a two... Well, whatever. Let's not split hairs here. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, we only have a couple seconds left. Can you bless the studio again and all who are in here? Just do a little special cleansing. I want to be able to feel great all week. Just...
see you next week.